the one and only Jalen Rose is here this morning. <laughs> Jay, I want to talk, there's so many things, and there's another finish I want to get to in a minute. But I actually want to ask you about Zion. Like last year, he wasn't playing, and he was all anyone wanted to talk about. This year, he's averaging 26 points a game, shooting 62% from the floor. He had 34 last night, and I don't hear anybody talking about him. What is Zion right now? Stan Van Gundy has done a terrific job of getting Zion on the move. If you noticed in a couple of those highlights, Steven Adams is basically in the paint like an offensive lineman just clearing space. You want to put shooting around Zion and allow him to be your playmaker in theory. That's how you use him to his strength. If you notice, it's not those awkward possessions where it's swing, swing, and also Zion open for a three. It's him cutting, him rolling, him them zippering down so he can go to his left hand. It's him playing with pace. It's him playing with tempo and finishing with force. He had 30 points in the paint. Mm. 30 points in the paint. That's Wilt Chamberlain. That's Wilt Chamberlain like. Yeah, again, that's why he's shooting 62% from the floor. So he's having a terrific season. But again, their team, that was a terrible final possession. But if you thought that was a bad final possession, the Denver Nuggets last night <laughs> said, hold my beer. Here we go. This is how this game finishes. Washington up two on Denver. Jamal Murray, five seconds left. This is a four-on-one break. They have an easy, uncontested layup at the basket to tie the game. But look where everybody runs. They all run to the three-point line. They wind up getting off that shot that isn't even close, and they wind up losing. And you know what happens is everyone looks at basketball ball now and they say this is analytics it is what it is Jalen what is that last possession a lack of professional basketball IQ I hate to break it to fans and members of the media and it's not just in the pros sports is actually a kid's game and you know what people do more than you realize they play like we're not keeping score and then all of a sudden, you look up the last two minutes, oh, like, oh, it's a close game. Let's try to win the game. Think about the Pelicans game. They were down three and ended up going for two. This team is down two and ends up going for three. It shows you <laughs> what they're taught. It shows you how they practice. But I'm going to tell you actually whose fault this play was. Michael Porter Jr. Run that play again. Yeah. He's six foot ten, Greeny. Yeah. Jamal Murray has the ball on the left side. When the defender commits, that's his dunk. That's his dunk. Not the guy who's the undrafted rookie shooting it. Michael Porter Jr. is their third best player. That's why if you see him walk off after this, watch what he watch who he points at. His chest. Look, my yeah. fault. Cause he knows he should have been the guy to take that layup for a dunk. He put Jamal Murray in a bad spot. Especially yeah, if Murray him. wasn't gonna pull up for the three. For those who can't see him, he's the one in the lower right-hand corner. He's all the way, he's the one with the number three on top of him. And he easy, <laughs> I mean, that's your point. He, he goes to the basket there, he gets an uncontested dunk. We go to overtime, and there we go. That is just a crazy and candidly ridiculous finish. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.